Hello my friends, it's Paul with you today from the Fortress channel and I want to talk about why you're bored. A lot of you guys end up doing stuff, stuff like watching porn, stuff like playing video games, stuff like binge watching Netflix, stuff like spending copious amounts of time on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr and Reddit and whatever it is that you do when you're bored. And at the end of the day you sit there and you're like, man, I hate myself. I hate myself for all the stuff I ended up doing. I wasted a bunch of time, committed a bunch of sin that I shouldn't have done. I didn't do all those things that I mentioned, but I did do the majority of them. So now the question is, why in the world did you do all those things? And the reason why is because you were bored. And why are you bored? For this one single reason. You're lacking vision. You don't have vision regarding your long-term goals that you're passionate about because if you did you would use every single second that you have in your day in order to pursue that dream in order to pursue that vision in order to pursue that goal right because that's what your life's about you're like man how can I find five minutes to work on this how can I research more about this man I had to go to work man I have to go to school as soon as school's over as soon as you ate your lunch you're like back to the vision <laughs> back to the goal that I'm pursuing back to what's really important to me right now. So number one thing to not be ever bored is to have vision. That's a part of it. The second part is the more long-term the vision is the better. If you have a vision for three days, not bad. Finish your homework, finish your project, that's not a bad vision, especially if you're passionate about it. But guess what, the moment that vision's done, you're like, what do I do now? You gotta find a new vision. So the longer your goal is, five years, 10 years, 25 years, and better yet, eternal. Something that spans past beyond your death and life and whatever it is that follows, right? That's a very long-term vision. That's something you can work on your entire life. And the longer the vision is, the more it'll bring you to question, is it really important? Is this vision really going to impact my existence and beyond my existence? Should I be pursuing this vision? Right? I'm sure you agree with me on this. It's kind of common sense. Uh, I'm just trying to help you out, straighten your priorities so that you can work and focus on these things in the right order. So you won't be bored and you won't be wasting time doing things that you later regret. And just the last point I want to mention is if you don't believe in God, if you believe after this existence, there's nothing there. Every vision that you have in this life is futile. It's an illusion. You'll achieve it. You'll win medals. You'll win goals. But in a thousand years, none of it plays a part. It doesn't... You're dead. It doesn't have any impact on you. Yeah, maybe you help some people in generations to come, but What's in it for you? Nothing. You're dead. Your existence is gone. If you do believe in God or in a higher power or in the afterlife, then when you base your vision on eternal things, you could be like, did I please God with my life? Did I do what God wanted me to do? And if you did, that carries into your eternal life, into your afterlife, and you have it all. One last thing. If you're one of those extremists from whatever religions you may be, and you might say, in order to please God, I'm going to go kill people. Or in order to please God, I'm going to go kill homosexuals. Or whatever it is that your crazy religion offers, I'm going to tell you that you're deceived. Because in your inner self, you know this, you know this, I'm not telling you this, I'm not imposing anything on you, you know this inside. In your inner self, you know that a true God, if there is one, would bring about love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, right? Are you following me? Self-control. All the things I just named, named are very good things. So if what, whatever religion you're in doesn't produce those things, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, long-suffering, you know, if it doesn't produce them, then you're obviously in the wrong religion and you're following some kind of sect of Satan that twisted what truth is and now you're going that direction. Whereas in reality, that's that should be your motive. Love, joy, peace, and etc. Not kill, murder, and steal, and rape. 
All right, I am finishing this up. Paul with you today from the Fortress Channel. New video every Monday, Thursday evening Pacific Standard Time. And I'll see you guys later. Visit fortressworkout.com for training routines so you can be healthy like me, except you look a little different because of your genetics. Fortressworkout.com. God bless you guys. Peace. Bye-bye.